Good morning, class. Today we will see in this video the love number three. The love number three begins in, with the bill of materials. You can see that in page number one. The bill of materials describe all the materials that we use to make the dot. Okay, you can see in, in this case uh, a tree with with the materials for the energy bar node A. The raw materials, OG wet germ, are combined in a mixer to produce a 500 pounds batch of dough. The dough is then transferred to the baking line where it's formed into bars, baked and packaged. For simplicity, we have enough the wrappers, boxes and kaiser that need to produce a complex case of item snacking bars. This is a small description is very important to understand all the process that we will do today. Okay, we will begin. Page number one, at the end, you have to put instruction C, S, one, two. Okay, and you can see that you have to put the material, 71F100. This is my material for my user, 71. If you are, if your user is 35, you have to put 35F100. If your user is 17, 70F100. Don't put 71 in your in, in your exercise okay the material you have to put the uh, 71 f100 in the plant you have to put your plant my, in my case is my plant 71 pt you have 35 35 pt 43 43 pt etc and in the boom application below materials application you have to put pp01 okay about you say hey what is this you click here look here is the options that we have to put in the bill of materials. The bill of materials can be process manufacturing, salary distribution, cost, plan maintenance. In our case, we use as a production share. Okay. Okay. We will put PP10, PP01. Okay. And we place the execute icon. With this, you have the display multi level boom. Okay. This is screen shows the receive required to, for seven cases of dough. Okay, with this you can make seven cases of the energy bars. To learn more about any of the materials required to make an NRGA bar, select the item and click on the detail icon. The exercise said, for example, select the new make. You select this and you go to the tail. Look, you press here, and you can see the information, the display material for the new method. Yeah, and this has all the information about where you purchase, where you can order, and all these things. So it's very complete tool to do that. Okay, we return the back to the back icon, back icon. Okay, we select new make again, and we press. The icon where you said that icon where you said let's check what is the icon where you said because it's not the same where use list look this icon is very different for the icon that you have in page number three for this reason it's very important that you check in very careful this okay we press this and what is the information important say this the information says that the nutmeg is used in two products, the energy A bar and the energy B bar. Okay, this is important to determine requests of specific materials, select products that are affected by a change of individual part, pin ensemble that with the layout. If, for example, this is the layout in the delivery of raw material. Yes, you provided for nutmeg, say, I don't have more because uh, my, my, I am broke, okay? You say, hey, what of my products will be affected because I don't have nutmeg on time? With this information, you can click, you can check the, the, the where you use it, and you can see that this affects two products, okay? okay. Let's say, let's say uh, this is only to check, you don't make anything, anything more. You press it, exit, and you finish this step. Okay, 
Next, next step, display work centers, okay? We exit this, we exit this, we exit this, okay. Yeah. Production is carried out at work centers. If the SAFT SAP ARP system, work centers can represent machines or groups of machines, production lines, assembly lines, employees or group of employees, okay? When you have a production line, in this exercise, it's very easy because we only produce with this energy bar, but in, for example, let's say in Tesla, in Tesla you have a production that makes the motor, another production that makes the, the, the structure for the car, another production line that, that, that assembly the batteries, etc. Air production line is a war center, okay? Okay, to display the war centers, you have to, play, to put the instruction CR03. Okay, display work setting initial screen. You have to put your plant, okay? And in the work center, you can check here. There is not anything here. Input back line, okay? We will put back line, back line, okay? Yeah. And say, click in the basic data icon. Okay, we present the basic data icon. We are in page number five, we talk to page number six. And this label, uh, the table screen contains all related information data for the work center. Okay, this is the information for backline work center. Look, what is the setup, the machine, the labor for X center. You need to set up a machine, you have to, <coughs> to, to put some. So supplies, if you have to hire some people for the labor, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so that's if you have a schedule, costing, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, this is a very complete system. You can set up the minimum detail in here. Okay, we say click the X in icon. We only this, do this to check. Okay, we have in page number seven, routines. Routines define the work centers that a product must be seen in the production process. Routines also defines the operation that would perform as a dish work center at the components that are needed for each operation. In, in our case for the exercise, it's very easy. Uh, returning to the example of Tesla, a routine for a car is assemble the motor, assemble the battery, assemble the structure, and do and um, make all join together. Okay, this is the routing, use three word center, okay? Okay, this is the first explanation. Okay, right now we will begin to create the routings. And um, we are in page number seven, say create the routing for the energy A bar and the routing for the energy B bar, okay? To create a routing, you have to play, put the instruction CA01, enter, okay? Pre-routing initial screen. The material is on material 71F100. The plan is 71PT. Okay. Enter. I'm um, aquí here in group. You have to place 71 group. Okay. And say click the enter icon. Okay. We press this. Okay. And the following screen will appear. Page number eight, clear routing, header details. Okay, enter one for usage. One, enter four for status. If you would like to check more information, as I was saying, you can press here, look, release it. The status is that the, the the routing is to release the information to such as pro for production is not for plant maintenance, right? This routing is for produce the, the, the energy bars, not to 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 maintenance the equipment for the for, for to produce this, right? But you can make another routing for another process in your plant. Okay, one four. Okay, what another information we need and clicking operations. We go here and click here, okay. 
uh, and appears a list of, of the operation overview. Okay, for the operation in the word center, we put the backline. Backline, okay. Back for control key. Look, here is control key. We put here back. Okay. Back door for description. Standard description. Description, excuse me. It's description. Back door. Okay. Seven for base quantity. We move here. This quantity we will put off. Excuse me. We return no problem. We put seven. Okay. And click on the enter icon. Okay. Let's remember. Let me reduce this space that you can see the seven here. I reduce this. I reduce the description. Okay. Let's remember, enter back line for word center, back for control key, back dot for description, seven for waste quantity, and click on the enter icon. Okay, we do that and we press it here. Okay. The next thing is we go here until we find setup. Look, here is enter 30 for 30 minutes for setup. How long it takes to change the back line for one type of bar to another and machine time. Machine time is here, 30 minutes. How long it takes to make seven case of a transplant and of stack bars. And say, Click on the comp allocation icon. We click here. We wish produce the following screen. Okay. Material components overview. Okay. Select the only component, component list. Okay. We select this. Subdetermine the lines of components that we need. When we make the energy bar, what we need? We need only the dot. Yes, we don't need the, the sign or the width, nothing. We only need the dot that we mix previously. For this reason, it's only one component for this. Okay. And then click on the new assignment. We go here, new assignment. We wish bring the following pop of window. We are in page number 10. New assignment. Click on the operation activity list icon to get the list of the operation for this road. We click here and say that the only the only operation for this routing is go to the back line. Okay. Click the enter icon to locate the material to the only operation of the routing back down. And remember, you can if you do any wrong or anything bad, until now, no problem. What's the problem? And I see for some cases, for students that made, the, made the, this lab, be, be careful with the dates, be, be careful with the materials that you enter. Until now, if you regret it, you're, you're have some problem, you can exit this and return to the, to the yeah, no, nothing happened. But after you press the icon for save, the information is loaded and you have to be very careful, okay? Because we do the things okay, we press the CD and looking. Routing was safe for 70 group and the material is, as of my, as of my recommendation for another time, for, for only for the purpose for the exercise, write this information in a paper when you record, when you print it, okay? Yeah, okay. The routing was safe. Yeah, we are on page number 10. 
And let's say the last box, the box with, uh, with yellow. Return to the beginning of the session, one, page seven, and repeat the process to create a routing for material F110, energy B bars. All entries are the same as the, as the F100, okay? Okay, we press exit. Okay, and return to section one, page seven, okay? We return to page seven. And we, right now, we will create the same thing, but for the energy of F110. Okay, hope we do that. We repeat, we are in page seven, C8, C01, enter. Okay, and here's the first change, okay? We will create for F110. Okay, this is the only change. This is, this is the same group, and, and no problem with this. To only you have to change this information for the material F110 because the plan is the same, the group is the same. Okay, and we will go to page number okay, press the enter icon. Okay, we go to create routines. We have to put here one and put here four. Okay, click the operation cycle. Okay, we have to set to put here. Enter back a line for work center. Back line. Enter back for control key. Back. Enter back though for description. So this so you can see seven for base quantity seven okay and click the enter icon. Remember we are working right now with the 70 with the material for F110 for the energy bar B. Okay, and we press. Okay, after that, we move here. Remember the setup is 30 minutes, and the machine time is 30 minutes. Okay. You press the component allocation. We will produce the following screen. Select the only component. And press new assignment. Assign to. Um, press upper fact list. Okay. Back line back down. Okay. Press the enter icon. Okay, and set the routing. And write this, okay? Routing for 71 group, say for 71, F110. Okay, with this we finish the part one. We are in page number 11, uh, uh, instruction number two. We exit, return to the SAP principal menu and right now we create the routines the same thing that we can rate for the dots for the excuse me for the energy bars right now we we can we create the routines for the dot okay the same process but right, first we create the routines for the energy bar right now we create the routines for the dot for the energy bar a for the energy bar b okay we repeat the instructions c a Zero one, enter, okay. And look, you have to change because you don't create the final product, you create the dot. Enter your product 71, S200. The plan is the medium, same, the group is the, is the same. And we press here, okay. 
Okay. The routing header lines. Enter for usage one. And for the status four. Press operations. The following screens. And look, we have to change here. We have to change this. The word center is mixers. Mix for the control key. I open this. Mix for the control key. And for the description, mix dough. Okay. Mix dough. Okay. And with this and say and 500 for the base quantity. Excuse me. I read it. 500 for the base quantity, okay? Increase the enter icon. Okay. And you will have put the setup the same. There is here. And there we here. Okay, we we do the same to the last two two steps. Okay, and we press component allocation, and look what happened. For the energy bar, you only need one material, the dough. But to produce the dough, you need a lot of materials: the clothes, the the wheat, the gel, all the materials. Yeah, and for this reason, SAP show you all the materials. And say, select all components, they click the new assignment icon. Say, select all, here's the, select all, we select all, and select all icon, click new assignment, which will be produce the pop down window. The same window to the other. And you press open activity list. The mixer don't have, don't know, don't. You press here and you press the same routing. Okay. Okay. And my recommendation create the 71 group and the material 71 is 200. Okay. And right now you have to make the dough for the energy bar B, that is the material dough for energy B bars, S210. You have to read the unit to the section two. We return to page number 11. Okay, exit. And we repeat again, but with the new dough. C A01. Enter. Here we put thing. Okay. The other things are the same. We press the enter icon. Okay. We are in page twelve. This says you have to change to one, and here you have to change to four. Okay, and click operations and work center. You have to put mixers and control key. You have to put uh, mix and description. You have to put mix low and use this and base quantity. We put we put five hundred. Okay, click the enter icon. Go to the setup time and the machine time. Terry. Terry. Okay. We are in page thirteen. Play. Press the component allocation, 
select all the materials, go to new assignment, we are in page 14, click and open activity list, operation activity list, press the enter icon, press the floppy disk, um, the routing was safe for the 71 group, routing 71 is 210, okay? And with this, we finish the step two. Exit, return to the principal. Uh, we will begin the step number three. The step number three, page 15 said, Many firms produce hundreds of products and planning for this product individually is not feasible or decible. What this firm do is to create product groups and then plan production for a small number of product groups and then transfer these plans to individual products based on the historic percentage. While Fitter Snacker does, does not have a large of number of products, we will use the product group process anyway. Okay, let's think about, for example, uh, uh, Protect and Gay, Protect and Gay, Kimberly Clark, etc. Right, big companies that produce a lot of items. Right, uh, for example, they have ten brands of soap. Okay, yeah, they produce. They only create a, pro a one product group and 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 copy these product groups for the individual brands of the soap that they have. Okay, yeah, this is the idea for this. Okay, to create a product group to fit their snacker for load the menu pad, you have to put MC. 84 and uh, enter. Okay, create product group initial screen and be careful here. Enter 71 space and space 71 and LG group and uh, here. 71 and RGA um, and RGB and RGB bars. Okay, if you make a mistake, this don't affect a lot in this case, right? You, you only put a, you only have to remember how to write the product group, 71 energy group. You see in, in, text, in the example, in the screen, that in, in page you know, number 15, you see the energy um, and is don't have a space. Yeah. This is not a big mistake, you don't write perfectly the same thing, okay? The thing is you have to, to, to keep it here. The base unit, look here, let's see, CS, what is CS, what is CS, case. Yeah, the product group for this is cases. Okay, this is the important part. As I said, you can end up put exactly the same description, but don't affect a lot. Only remember the names that you put. I'll take a photo, for example. Okay, plant 71 PT, this is my plan. Your plan is 35, 35 PT, so there's a 35 energy group, 35 energy. The base unit is cases. Okay, and we press there, and this will produce things. Create pro groups, maintain members, the materials, okay? Here's, and say the system, uh, the instructions say, enter 71, F100, uh, F100, and, 71110. Uh, enter for the two members of the group. For both, enter the plant as the plant 71PT. Yes, you make this in your plant. 71PT. 71PT. Okay. Okay. And say enter seven, 70 for the proportion of energy bars and 30 for the proportion of the energy for the B bars, okay? What is this, what is this? You, these proportions means that whatever production is planned for the energy, energy group 
we will assume that 70% of the production should be energy A bars and 30% should be energy B bars. Okay, you can put 50, 50, 60. Yeah, but too much exercise, you can put 70. You have to put 70 at all. Okay, yeah. What we make this, we say, hey, the, 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 for this product group, the energy group, when we plant this, the 70 of the percent of the planning is for the energy bar A, and that is the 71F100, and the third is for the energy bar B71. Okay, you press here to confirm that you have the correct information. And look, when, as I say, when you press enter, you don't, you don't save anything yet. You only fill the, the information that is not here. You say when you press this, and the group is created. Okay, we are in page 17, uh, step number four. Run the MRP, Manufacturer Resource Plan. To do that, you have to put here the instruction MD02. Enter. Okay. Single item, multi level. Say enter or search for two energy group. Let's see material. We, we put 71. NRG group. Okay. Plan 71. Click on product group because we will work for the two for the two bars. Okay. But this only put this, but you can do for only one material. Okay. The process gets next, next change for total horizon. The current purchase regulation requirement regulation requirement uh, requirements number two number three number one number one number one. As I always say, if you would like to understand better that, you press here and you can see the details for each one of these options. Okay. Okay. If you have a major in in logistics and supply chain, you can understand better all of these terms. Okay. Okay. Um, normally, in a company, you only have to set up this one time in a lot of time. Okay. Yeah, this is a only one time effort. After that, you can delegate this to an operator that only we do this every time. Okay. But the, you are a major in, you have a bachelor degree in supply chain because you can understand these terms, right? The operators only put the numbers, but you have to understand this step to set in correctly as a piece. Okay, okay, we do this, we enter this, let's verify that we have all the things in the correct place, and after that, you place the enter icon, okay? And look, enter the information, they will produce the following message. Look, look here, Plex, please check input parameters. Please the enter icon again. Um, geez, you, we are in page 18, and you have the single-lity multi-level manufacturer resource file, okay? The material plan. The details of your report may differ, but that is not a problem. As long as you have an error message, you don't have a skill. As long as you don't have an error message, I don't have error message, things should be okay. To confirm that they are, we can check the status of K materials. Okay, you have look here is the materials for the for the for the one bar for the A bar and this is the material for for the other bar. Okay, look uh, the information is not the same, but with uh, the system say don't worry about that. Okay, okay. To be yeah to view the status of material, we can use the stock requirement list. Like many transactions is set in SAP system, there are a number of paths that we can take to test the recurring meetings. Okay, we only exit this, okay? And one of the horn is you can put the description MD04. Okay, we are in, at the end of page 18. Okay, store requirements, list initial screen, and say enter 
not in the material, put 71F100. We're checking for the energy bars and PT for the plant 71. In my case, remember, in your case 35, says 17, 42, et cetera, et cetera, okay? And press the enter icon. And the, the machine say, hey, right now, we don't have anything, but we put it in zero. This screen shows that we have no material on hand, no sales order, and we haven't specifically specified a safety stock level. We have no production orders planned, yes? But this is a fault that you check what happened in your, in your plant right now. We can look at different material by entering a, a new material into material field. Where is the material field? Here is the material field, okay? We can put 71, S200, okay? And click the enter icon. Look, ah, we have the same, right? We don't have anything here. Yeah, okay, page 20. There is a easier way, a, in an easier way to view the store requirement list for different materials. Use the back icon, where is the back icon? Here's the back icon. To get the free screen, here's the free screen. And say here, please press in the collective access tab. Enter your plant, 71, uh, zero, 71 for MRP controller and click enter, enter icon. Let's check that we are, yeah, please don't be confused. The photo in page 2020 say 00 PT. You have to put your plan 71 PT and in the other say 000, but you have to put zero and 71. You have 35, 0, 35, 0, 15, etc. etc. Please be very careful with this, okay? And press the enter icon. And look, wow, we have something, okay? This is the material for all the materials that begin with 71. It's only for, for the lab, right? But in a normal plan, you see all the materials that you have in your plant, okay? You have the, and the material complete, the, thing, the product, the final product that you sell, the energy air bars, look, here you have the dough that is produced using the, these other materials, right? This is the material, material list for all the materials that you have in plant. The finished product, the, the middle product, okay, and, the, and the raw materials, okay? You have all of this here. And the instructions say, select canola, and we first we select canola, okay? I correct, I select canola. And click and the display select store requirements echo. Okay, this is the icon. Okay, we press here. We are in page 22. And uh, you, you can see that right now we don't have anything of canola. Too, okay, click on the back icon. Yeah, but this is another form that see the stocks for each material, okay? Okay. And you can see it's, yeah. Note that there's no a check mark next to the canola in the column already access. Look, here is the column already access. Here, already access, okay? This feature helps the MRP controller keep track of which materials they have already reviewed. Let's say that you you are the boss for the purchasing department. I say to you, and you have for some guys to check the canola, the cinnamon, the cloves. So another guy check the the protein, the raisin, and the vitamin powder. Right? With this, you can say, hey, this guy do the job. They check if we have a stock, and you can check what people check the stock right now. Okay. Yeah. The traffic lights also help the MRP controller focus on critical materials. The traffic light concept is used in areas of the SAP system to help the use prioritize tasks. In our case, the materials with a red traffic light have a no zero safety stock specified. As there have no V on goods receive of these materials, they are below their safety stock levels and has the red lights, right? Right now we don't have red lights because we don't want them. It is possible to customize the traffic lights. 
click on the define traffic lights icon, we will produce this, this screen. Let's put it here, okay. This screen shows the DCP system provides the user with a great date deal of flexibility in how to configure the traffic light system, okay. As I say, well, when you will be the boss for the purchase department, you have to take the one, one instruction for SAP. Uh, you can you can you can set up this according to your requirements, right? Exception during availability, exception during dress schedule, right? This is only to think about that. It's not that you have to read a, a book for 20 pages to understand this. This is this is plain by their concept, right? And this is your decision as a as bachelor in supply chain to take the correct decision to set up this correctly. Okay. Yeah. Well, right now we don't take any, we don't modify any of the traffic lights. We close this. Okay. We are in page 23. We will keep the store requirement list open so that we can easily review the results of the Emery process. Okay. We will always check this. Okay. This is the instruction that says that. We will use the following materials to evaluate the manufacturer receive planning process. We will uh, evaluate this, we evaluate this, we evaluate the canola, and we evaluate the dog. Okay? This is the materials we will use for this exercise. Well, um, we will turn to page 24, and you can see in the tree the, the materials that we will evaluate. Okay? At this point, the storage requirement list for this material is pretty boring and this is no production channel. Okay? We are in page 24 and we finish part number four. Okay, we switch to page number five. Excuse me, to, to step number five. Create sales and operations plan. If you have a major in supply chain management and logistics, this terms you always see in your classes, right? The MRP, the operations plan, the sales plan. Right, here's the real world. Here's how to, the concept that you learn in your classes applies in the real world systems, okay? In SAP, the sales operation planning process is one way to create demand for the MRP process. In practice, sales and operation planning is the process where operation and marketing agree on demand, on a demand forecast and a production plan to meet that demand. Yeah, this is very important, right? Because, uh, for example, we're in the College of Business. The College of Business have different branch, right? You can be in the branch of the logistics, we are in the branch of, of, of marketing, we are in the branch of the human resources, and all the branches have to work together to be a successful company, right? <coughs> this is the thing that SAP say. Hey, the sales guys, the marketing guys, know how much they will sell, okay? They have forecast that say, hey, we make this, this level of campaigns, we, we will make these, we will launch this product and we will need this. And you as a logistic coordinator for the company, you have to, <coughs> to work with them to produce correct forecast, <coughs> excuse me, and to avoid stockouts or a lot of inventory. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Excuse me for a moment. Okay, I return. It's, uh, we're in the end of page 24. And first we have, we will keep this and we will go create, create a new window. But I need to record this window. Let me see. Uh, if we can create session, okay. Okay, one moment, please. Let me see if I can share this window with you. One moment, okay. Okay, okay, share. Okay, yeah, we are sharing the new window, okay. Uh, in this new window, you have you have to put MC eighty one. Create plain initial screen. 
Uh, you can put your, your group, the 71 energy group, and the plan 71 PT, okay? And click the enter icon, okay? Produce a pop-up window, okay? Define version and say enter 0, 71 for your version and version 71 for version description. Okay, we put 0, 71. Too, too much this. Well, uh, this is only a title. You can you can don't put exactly the the, the exact uh, things that say to exercise, but you only have to remember, right? Okay, you will put here and press the enter icon. Okay. Grab road good plan. Okay. And say enter 10, 30, and 50 for the sales level for next month and the two following months respectively. Okay. Next month, let's see. These guys are here. We are in September. The next month is October. We put 10, we put here 30, and we put here 50. That is good because, yes, in, in Christmas, always the sales are the best, okay? We are, we will produce 10 cases. In this case, we put 30, and in December, we produce 50, okay? <clears throat> We're in page 26. There are numbers of ways to develop a sales force can in CBRP. However, we just enter 10, 30, or 50 at the sales level for the next month and the two following months, respectively. There are also a number of ways to deploy, develop a production plan. For example, we can have production my sales. To do this automatically, follow the pull down menu, edit. This gives the pull down menu, edit. Create production plan, synchronous to sales. Okay, look what happened here. Okay, edit, production plan, synchronous to sales. Okay, look, the production makes the sales. We will produce sales, predict that they will sell this quantity of products. We, logistics, we, the inventory, we, supply chains, we will produce the same, okay? <clears throat> we can also develop a plan that allows for a safety stock, a stock level above the spec sales level. To do this, enter 5, 15 at 25 to target a stock level, okay? 5, 15, 25, Then follow the menu path, edit, create production plan, target stock level. And the system will create a production plan that allows for a target stock level, okay? With this, you always have a stock and you don't have surprises that you don't have a stock and your customer order and you don't have anything, okay? Self calculate for the months for here to a lot of months after that. Okay, this is sub SAP do automatically. Okay, note that the system calculates the stock pro production plant and will produce enough to meet the sales level and have the appropriate target stock levels. Okay, impossible check, check, please check that the numbers are the same that the numbers in, in the second image of page 27 okay the system also we calculate the day supply which is which is calculate as page 28 day supply is daisy month divide for sales <clears throat> note that daisy month is taken for the factory calendar we consider weekends holidays a number of days in the month okay until now as i always say you don't have problems if you make a mistake no problem okay verify that all is this and if all is good, press the floppy is the same. 
and say that plane seven with version number zero seventy one. You create you sell you 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 try okay you create you sell some operations okay page twenty eight uh, step number six we press exit say next we have to transfer the production plan develop it in the standard operation plan transaction to the produce in the product group to do this. <coughs> Follow the menu path. Uh, you have to play put MC75. Okay. Transfer planning data to demand management. Okay. Enter product group 71 energy group, plan 71 PT. Enter version. Remember, I write the version 071. Okay. Select production plan for materials. Or PG members a proportion of PG, check invisible transfer and check start active. Okay, let's check that we have all the things together. Okay. And we are on page 29, enter the information and press transfer now. Okay, transfer now. Planning version transfer is not the active version. This is the, the message that says double check that you enter 071 of for the version. Click the enter icon again. Okay. Uh, this will produce the following message. Let's see. Uh, let's put 071. Um, press okay. What happened here? 071 is my version. Mm -hmm. The following message let me check what happened here. Where is my version? Here is my version. You I select, I press that. Okay. Let me check that you enter the click enter icon, we will produce the following message. Message locked. Let me check what happened with this door. Restriction version zero. Version zero seventy one. <coughs> Transfer now. Okay. Look, uh, this is some confusing, but you have to load the seventy one, and after that, press the transfer version, right? Yeah, we are, I forgot, but this is the last instruction. You have to transfer, you press the button, transfer, transfer now, okay? <clears throat> okay, uh, you can see the message launch created on zero one, yeah, no over message two, yeah. With, with this, some, some aminus ignore issues are warned. Okay, but with this we create, we transfer, the sales of operation plans to the to products. This is very important because if you don't do that, after that, in the next step, you don't see anything in your, in your stock and, and you have a lot of confusion about that, okay? Be, be careful to press the button transfer now after you, have, you put the version 71 or the version 34 or the version 35, okay? Okay, and the team say switch to the other screen. Let me switch to the third screen. I return to the third screen. Let me put, uh, this is the other screen, share. Okay, switch to the other, to the other session. Make sure you have selected the material FS100 and the display stop the screen. Look, 
we are in here, we selected this, uh, we, <clears throat> we check what materials have this, okay? The result for the transfer is as, as yet not, is not yet displayed. We are in page 33. To update the store requirements list, click on the refresh icon. Okay, here is the refresh icon. Let's see, Let refresh. And here, here is uh, uh, the, the production pass, right? Look, uh, we have the same numbers. Okay. Note that there are planning independent requirement, requirements for three months. Where did the quantity 11 come from this month? In the sales and operations plan, the production quantity planned for energy bar is in this month was 15. 10 for sales, 5 for charge at the store level, 70% of 15 is 11, actually 10 or 5, 50% of 15 is for actually 4.5. Okay. This is this is the they say that for this reason you have 11 here, okay? Chego the canola. We return, we keep this, we press canola, and we press selected stop requirements. Look, the canola is not in here. Let's check what happened here. We take this. We don't order uh, yet anything for the canola. For this reason, we don't have anything here. Okay, we are in page 31. <clears throat> to meet the demand that is predicted for the SOP process, the MRP process will create planned orders. The planned order can be converted in production orders for internally manufacturing materials at the dome and purchase requisition for external procurement materials. To do this, we will repeat the MRP process as we did before. To run RMP, switch back to the other session and follow the menu path. Okay, I switch back to the other session. Let me switch back to the other session. Okay, I switch back to the other session. I am in the other session right now. I exit from here. I exit from here. Um, and we are in page 31. And you have to put this restriction MD0. We will repeat again the process, okay? <clears throat> Single pit and multi-level. Yeah, the material. We will put 71 energy group. So SAP always put uh, the more uses items here. And with this, you can avoid the items. Okay. 71 PT, Netch, 2, 3, 1, 1, 1. Um, check that all is, is above is correct. Ting, ting, ting. Okay. And, pr and press icon. You will press check on import parentheses. Okay. I should we report like this. Let me see if all is correct. 71 is good. 71 PT. Match. 2, 3, 1, 1, 1, 1. And click again. Okay. Let's check import parameters. Okay. Enter. Yeah. We have this here. Okay. <clears throat> And you have a report like this, okay? Look, the report is here. With this, the report say, this message shows that because of the man we created the SOP process, there have be a number of calculation made the MRP process, okay? This is all the things that we have to order to complete the sales order plan, okay? We are in page 34. Switch to the session with the store requirement list. And look for the material. Okay, I will switch again to the other session. And share, may I go to this? Share, I am here. I return to my materials and check this and say, hey, check. <clears throat> Select a store requirement list. Okay. And the refresh icon. Okay. Look, all change because we ordered all the materials for this. Notice that the subsystem are created planning orders to meet the predicted demand. Okay. Here we have a lot of 
the cell is ordered automatically. You don't have to make a lower order for each one of the products, right? Um, this is very important because when SAP you have integration with the providers and this will do automatically. Note that the subsystem accredits production orders for seven cases, which is the fixed lot size for energy bars to meet the demand. Check out the material is 200, the door bar, I read two. Let's see, S S two zero for the door bar. I select this, I press here, and I press this. And yeah, look, this is all the orders for different months to have all the materials ported out for the energy bar A. <coughs> as the load, as the dog bar has a lot size for 500 pounds, SAP has created planet order in 500 pounds batches. Check out the material at 300 canola. Let's return again. I don't select this. I select what is me canola. Here is canola. Okay. The canola. And I press this. And finally, we press this thing. And look. This is the orders in September, in October, in December. And this is the screen that you have to print, or you have to make a, uh, a print a screenshot, or take a photo for your cell phone, put in a word, and send to Dr. Messia. And with this, we finish this lab. Thank you.